Okay, so today we're going to learn how to build this single jetway for 1 400 or 1 500 scale. This is version 2 of the jetway. This jetway comes in two styles. One is the aluminum, the other one is the glass. The PDF that you got is going to have the plans for both of these jetways. So what you want to do is you want to print it in thick paper, something like cardstock at the highest resolution on your printer. These are very nice gates. They turn, this, this here uh, turns too, and they also expand and contract. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So for this project you're going to need some kind of thick paper to print the jetways on. I recommend getting some kind of a card stock, about 110 weight. That's the best one. You can find this at any of your uh, office supply stores. You're also going to need two dowels, and one eighth of an inch and one quarter of an inch in diameter. You're going to need white and black paint because you want to paint your dowels white. You're going to need sandpaper. You're going to need a box cutting knife to cut the dowels. You're going to need an exacto knife to cut the cardstock. You're going to need some kind of cement glue, pencils, scissors, a round pen we need this to make some uh, bends, a pair of tweezers, and a metal ruler. Okay, so let's get started with the main structure. The first thing I like to do is to do my scores first. A score is a very light cut that you use so that when you fold it, you get a nice uh, straight fold. You don't want to go through the paper. So these are number one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six cores in here, so you make sure you those do those first. So what you do is you take your blade, you line it up with the dotted line, the one and the one, and then you line up the other end. And very lightly you score it. Then go to the next one. Same thing. Score it very lightly. Once you're done with the scores, then you use the solid black lines to do your cutting. So use those as guides. And now you start doing the cutting. Here we want to cut from here out and in an angle. And here out and in an angle. So what you can do is line up here, cut from here out, and then from here out. Then let's do the angles. From here, angle. And from here, angle. Now you want to cut out this way and out that way. So line up your ruler. Cut here. Cut here. Now we can cut out and out. Cut here, here, and here. Now let's cut the bottom part. This one is easy, it's all, all square cuts. <clears throat> and 
now, you want to take your scissors and do all the angle cuts. It's just a lot easier to, to do it this way, but if you want to do it with a knife, that's just fine. So now I make sure that everything folds the way it's supposed to. I'm going to put a little glue on that tab. That's going to come together with this tab. And then we want to fold these tabs inside. And then we're going to put a little glue around all four tabs. Because we, what we want to do is we want to glue this guy here. So you want to use those crosshairs as your guide. It's a good time to use your pencil and then just kind of stump it, make sure that it's making good contact. So there's going to be a little bit of a lip all the way around. So just kind of, you know, jiggle it, make sure that everything is is centered. Now the next thing we need to do is to cut our dowel that goes inside. So you have your template here. But you just you put your blade there and put the dowel against it. And then where this is, then you make your cut. So what you want to do is make a, a easy cut first all the way around. And then kind of go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Putting some pressure. So when you're about halfway through the dowel, then just snap it. Get your sandpaper to get rid of that little bit there. Make sure that it's nice and flat. You want to do the top too. And then you're going to put a little bit of glue here. And I'd recommend you get your tweezers to hold this and this goes inside so just 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 kind of center it doesn't have to be perfect just center it in there so this is done for now put it aside to dry and we'll continue with the construction Okay, so let's work now on the boarding bridge. What you need to do, like I mentioned before, you want to do the scores first. Now this one is a little different. You see this one says back. What that means is the score has to be done from the back. The way you do that is you take your knife and you make an incision in here. You want to go through the paper, all the way up through the paper because you want to make a, a little mark for the back. And then you do the other side. So you want to do one and then two. So when you turn your paper you'll have the two marks where the score is going to go. So all you want to do is line up your ruler and do the score. Now you continue with the scores in the front. So you put your blade, line it up with the dotted line and do the first score. On this one we need to cut from here outside. The score is only for this part here. So now that we have the ruler in place we can go ahead and make the cut from here out here. The rest are just simple scores.
Now you're done with the scores, we can continue with the cutting. The cuts are the solid lines, solid black lines. Now here you want to cut again from here to the outside. That you still line up your ruler here. So you go from here to the outside. So you want to cut out and out. Same thing here, you start with those cores. Once your scores are done, then you can do the cuts. cut this last piece. This one we're gonna cut square and then we'll do the round cuts with the scissors. So now we get our scissors and we do the round cut. Now these two are done, so then we go back here and we do our angle cuts. They're usually easier to do them with the scissors, so that's why I don't do them with the, uh, with the knife, but you can do it either way. So we do all of our angle cuts. Okay, so these are the three pieces that we need to do the jetway. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to cut our dowel. This is the little template that you're going to use for that. So what you do is you put the dowel next to the top over here. And then you'll see the mark over here, so you make a mark on your dowel. So with the knife, you want to roll it back and forth. Okay. 
back and forth, back and forth. Until it's about halfway through. Then with your finger, just snap it. So this little piece here, you do is you take your sandpaper and make sure it's all nice and flat. <coughs> so now let's put together our bridge. First you want to do all the bends, put a little glue on this tab. Fold it this way, fold it this way, and make sure that uh, it gets there. Then you're going to do the same thing with this one. Put a little glue, fold it, and then fold it. So this one, the tabs fold to the inside. You want to make sure that they are properly folded. <clears throat> you may want to use a pen to kind of push the tabs inside. And with this one, the tabs are going to fold outside. What happens is that you want to put this one inside of that one and they're going to lock themselves. So you kind of fold it like this a little bit. Make sure you have bottom and bottom. And then just push the one inside of the other one. You see, once they're in, they're locked. <clears throat> now you're going to take your pen, put a little glue here. And then bend this this way so you have a nice round bend. You're going to put a little bit of glue here. And just put this in there. Like so. You may want to use your tweezers to go inside and make sure that it's making good contact. <clears throat> the next thing is to take your dowel, you put a dab of blue, and then you see where you have that brown spot, that's where the dowel goes. So just glue it like that. Now, on the side that says bottom, this little white part, you want to put a little bit of glue there. And then you want to glue the bottom part in there. So basically the dowel is touching that part down, down there, you see? So that's the basic bridge. Let's do the apron that goes here so then we can complete the construction. Okay, so let's continue with the boarding apron. Once again, you want to do your scores first. See the score here. And while we have this, you also have to make a cut up and up this way and out and out. So usually what I do is while I have the ruler in place I can go ahead and make the cut. Let's do the score.
same thing here, I have to do the score here, but then I can do the cuts at the same time. So I can do the score for here, and then just from the center out, from this point out. And now that I have the scores done, I can do my cuts. So our scores here, and then it's easier to do first the straight cuts. And then do the angle cuts. Let's bring the scissors and do the angle cuts. So the first thing we're going to build is basically a small box. So first we're going to put a little glue on that tab. And that's going to come in over here. And then a little glue on that tab. And this one is going to go in here. So you see you end up with a small box. You may want to use your your tweezers just to make sure that it makes good contact. Now you take your pen and bend round this part here. And then you're going to put Tad of glue, and this goes inside there. So once again, use your tweezers to make sure they make good contact. So you see, you end up, end up with something like this. So now we take this part, cut the ends. And this is going to go over the, the little box, just a tad of glue. And you see that one also says bottom, so you want to put that on the top. So you put it like that, and then like this, and you press. You want to make sure that that is all straight. So you're going to end up with a little, you know, apron all the way around it. So the next thing we need to do is to cut the little wheel that goes underneath the gate. 
สีกับยุดดาว Make sure it's nice and flat, and then you use your template. One second, you put the blade, put the dowel, and then mark what the template tells you, and then just kind of roll it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So once you're about halfway through the dowel, maybe a little bit more because this one is kind of small. Now what you want to do is hold it and snap it. And you take off the excess. Then you go with the uh, 8 inch. And the same thing, you want to make the measurement. And then cut it. Now on this one, what you need to do is you need to get the black paint and then paint the ends just like that. So it's going to end up looking like that. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put some glue at the bottom of the dowel. And then glue the wheels at the bottom. Okay, so let's do the side stairs. Once again, you want to do all your scores first. Now, on this one, we want to do a score over here, but then a cut from here down. Same thing, the score is going to go here up to this point and then in an angle down. So let's start with our scores. So we do the score and now that we have this thing lined up we can go and do the cut from here down. Then we do the score for number two Again, from here, out. So from here, out is just a score. Number three, same thing, it's going to go from here, out for the score. And then we can start with the cuts. Let's do this one more score here. And now we can do the cuts. Now here again we did that cut, so now we have to do this cut from here out. And then this cut in an angle from here out. And that should be all of our cuts. And we cut this last one. So now you should have this that bends that way and also this one that bends this way. This one also bends that way and this one bends this way. Okay? So, now what we're going to do is, we're going to bend this this way, and we're going to put just a dab of glue. 
because we want to turn this and then bend this so it's gonna look it's gonna look like this you may want to use your tweezers just to make sure that they're making good contact so now that we have this like this then we put a little bit of glue in here and this is going to be for the stairs so you fold that and then you put this like so okay so this is how it's going to look like So these are your side stairs. Okay, so let's do the last of the cuttings. Still be this will be the uh, bridge extension. Once again, we want to start with the uh, <clears throat> Okay, so let's get started with the last cuts. This is the bridge extension, so we start with the scores. Once we got this course done, then we do the cutting. Remember, it's the solid black lines. On this one, we cut from here out and up, and from here out and up. This one has a small cut there. And in this one is a small cut here and a small cut here. And then we want to make this one right here. So let's do the angle cuts. And then we want to do this round cut. So you want to put a little bit of glue on this tab. 
You fold it and you fold it. And it comes together. And then you put a little bit of glue on this tab. And then you fold this one over. What you may want to do to make sure that you're making good contact is use your pencil and then just kind of stamp it down to make sure that it's making a good contact back there. Okay? So that's your bridge. The next step is to put it all together. Okay, so at this point you should have all your pieces looking like this. So let's put this whole thing together. First you're going to take your bridge, turn it around where it says bottom. So let's go ahead and put the stairs first. So you grab your stairs, put a little glue on this lip over here. Where it says bottom, you want to put them right there against the front. So if you look at it this way, just uh, make sure that it lines up with the door. Next, all we're going to do is take the little wheel, put a little glue here on the brown dot, and then add the wheel there. I always like to put in a little angle so you know it looks good. Actually, angle that way. Once that's together, you're going to take your main structure and take this little loop here and then put it inside the dowel that is sitting in there. And then you're going to take one dab of glue, put it on top of the dowel, and then you want to glue this top part. Okay, Make sure that you didn't get anything on the on the round thing. Now we're going to do something similar up here up front. You have your little apron. So the same thing, we're going to slide it in there. This time we're going to put just a drop on the dowel and a little bit on top of the gate. And then you're going to use this piece and put it right on top. And make sure that it makes good contact, that it's lined up, and that this moves freely. So now you have this moving, and then this also moves. So, so to finish it up, we're going to put this guy right on top of here. What you want to do is you want to put a little bit of glue on the side here, a little bit of glue on the side here, and some glue on top. And then take this and just slide it over. And that's that. You have now a single jetway. I hope you enjoyed it.